Hello, everyone. Welcome back to week nine of our 12 Days of Christmas Challenge. Today, we are going to be making a lovely ballerina out of coffee filters, pipe cleaners, markers, and rubber bands. That's all you need. So, you need two coffee filters. Two, two coffee filters. You need two pipe cleaners. You need a couple tiny rubber bands, like really small ones. And you need some washable markers, and you'll need a little bit of water for this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your coffee filters, we're gonna smooth them out, and we are gonna use our washable markers and just kind of color all over it. You can put a pattern on there or a design, you can use whatever colors you want, but you are gonna cover a lot, not all necessarily, of your coffee filter with your washable markers you want a little bit of white still on there but not too too much white because then your colors will have to cover too much face will have to bleed too much um if you have just a little bit of white the color should bleed enough to fill in the rest of the white space so you're going to kind of just color on your coffee filter you're going to color on both of your coffee filters with your washable markers, anything you want. You can do a pattern, you can do a design, you could make it look really fancy. You could just scribble like I'm doing. That's entirely up to you. It is your ballerina. Um, just know that even if you do a fancy pattern, it may not look like a pattern by the time it's done being wet down and smeared a bit because the edges will get a little bit blurred. But so I colored. I'd say about three quarters of my coffee filters. At this point, you're either gonna take an eyedropper or if you have a spray bottle, those will work too. I'm not gonna do this part, but you can do it at home. Take an eyedropper with just some water in it or a spray bottle with some water in it and you're gonna to wanna to put this on maybe a baking sheet, lay it down and then wet it down, not like dripping wet soaking, just so that it's completely wet across the top of it. Then maybe pick up dry underneath and put it back down and then you're gonna to wanna to let it dry. Um, it should dry in about two, maybe three hours um completely dry definitely overnight if you want to speed up that process you can put it outside although this time of year that's probably not going to help speed up the process at all or you can pop it in a really low temperature oven for about 10 minutes or so not any longer than that and when i say low temperature i mean like as low as that oven can go um and then pop it in there for maybe about 10 15 minutes and that should dry it out real well but like i said it should only take about an hour or two to dry so after you've colored it go ahead and let it dry and then come on back and join us again so now we have had time for our coffee filters to dry. And now they're all dry and see as they got wet, those colors sort of bled and smeared into each other. Like so, so if you used colors like here, I used red and yellow. And so in some spots where it blended together, it actually did turn orange. So if you use your um, opposite colors like that, they are going to come together and make more colors on there. That's up to you. Now I have two of them. Um, while these are drying, we can work on the body. So that's actually what we're going to do now. We're going to take our two pipe cleaners. We're going to fold one of our pipe cleaners in half. We're going to smush down the sides, but we're not going to smush it up at the top because that's going to be the head of our ballerina. So we want that to stay sort of round like that. Then you're gonna take your other pipe cleaner and you're gonna kinda of offset it a bit, not too far, but just a little bit, like that. And you're gonna start wrapping it around the rest of those pipe cleaners that you folded down. These are gonna be the arms and the body of your ballerina. So you're gonna wrap it down just around the legs and the rest of the body, about mm, two inches or so not too far because you want to make sure when you come back up, maybe about an inch or so even, um, when you come back, you still have enough left for your arms. I'm going to work my way back up at this point so that I still have a decent amount left for my other arm. All right, so that's, see how I wrap that around there? And now she's got two arms, a head, a body, and two little legs. So we've made a little body frame for our dancer. Really, really easy, okay? After we've made that, we're going to go back to our coffee filters. At this point, we're going to take one coffee filter, whichever one you want, and we're going to fold it in half. 
like this. Then we're going to fold it in half again, like that. And then we're going to fold it in half two more times at the point, like so. And once more so that it is a very small, very pointy, very colorful triangle. Just like that. Now you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut off a very, very small amount of this point. You don't need to cut off very much because that hole is going to get surprisingly much larger as you open it up. So you only want to cut off a very, very little bit at the end of your ballerina skirt here. Just like that. Then you're going to open it back up to that first half fold. So you're going to open it up to look like this. Oops. Hold on. Like this. And then we're going to go about a quarter inch away from that hole we cut. And we're going to cut just two slits. They don't need to be holes. They're just going to be little slits. Just like that. You're going to do one on either side about a quarter inch away from that hole. That's where the arms are going to come up. Okay? So it's going to look like that. There's going to be two little slits in there and a hole at the top. You only have to do one if you want to have a really thin skirt, just your, your doll is only in one dress, that's fine. If you want your skirt to be fuller like mine, then you'll need your second one. You're going to do that same thing where you fold it, except this time you're only going to cut that one hole in the end. So you're going to fold it in half, like so, in half again, in half at the point. This one sort of reminds me of a watermelon. <laughs> And then in half, one more time to make that small triangle. Just like that. And you're going to cut off that very, very small point again. Just a little bit, not too much. All right. And then you're going to open that one back up too. So now we have two coffee filters with holes in them. Just like that. See, that hole does get surprisingly large. If you cut off too much, it will be too big for our doll. This is the one that has my slits in it, so it's going to go on first. You're going to take your little body. You're going to push those arms away up into the air just like that. And you are going to feed those arms through the slits that you made. Those are like the little armholes on the doll dress. And then I know what you're thinking. There's no way in the world that head is going to fit through that little space. But I promise you, if you are very gentle, it will go right through there pretty easily. We're going to pull it down on the body just like that. So now you can leave it just like that. You can just attach a little rubber band here at the waist and call it done and she can just have a one short little simple dress. If you want your dress to look a little fuller, this is where you'll add your second pipe cleaner. You're going to take the little legs and you're going to stick them through the hole on your second coffee filter. Just like that. And you're going to slide that upper little body like that. So now you've got both layers right there and that's going to give you a much fuller dress bunch it down around her waist this is where your rubber bands come in you're going to take a tiny rubber band put those arms back up and we are going to stretch it around the body and then wrap it around a couple times now it's wrapping around both layers of skirt at this point so it's going to hold them both up one more time should be good And that's going to give your dress a little waist. And look at that. You now have a little dancer. Now it is <clears throat> nine ladies dancing, so go ahead and make eight more. And then you can have a dance party. Um, or just make the one. That's up to you. Um, but that's it. There's our little dancer for our nine ladies dancing. I'd love to see what you created. So go ahead and snap a picture, post it underneath with the hashtag CLSV12Days. Bye!